Welcome to Gifted Guitars. My name is Chris Ballinger and you joined us on a very special day. This is the first day of a brand new build. I am going to build a guitar for my brother-in-law, Eric. I'm extremely excited about this one because Eric is an awesome guy. I met him when I was working on the show Haters Back Off. Some people have asked what that is. That was my director's chair. I was a producer, so I guess it was a producer's chair. But anyway, I helped write this show. My sister was in it. Eric was in it. He played a character named Patrick. And over the years, he and my sister have fallen in love. They got married. They had a kid together. And uh, he's just a, a welcome addition to our family. And he plays guitar. And so this is the first time that I'm building a guitar for someone that I know is going to actually play it. A lot of people in the comment section have suggested that I make a guitar for Eric and that I make it in the style of a succulent. And I, I played around with that, like a cactus shaped guitar, a succulent shaped guitar. What would that look like? How would that work? But since this is for Eric, I also wanted to make sure that it was something that Eric would like and would use. And the very first guitar I built was for my sister, who is his wife, and I gave it to her and he was asking me all these questions about guitars. And I said, if, if someone made a guitar for you, what, what kind of guitar would you want? And he said, I would love a Les Paul. That is this kind of guitar right here, this kind of yellowish one. That, that's a Gibson Les Paul. This is gonna be a gifted guitars Les Paul. So I bought one of the better kits, this kit here from a company called Stumac. This guitar should have like a flame maple top, at least a flame maple veneer on top. And so it's gonna be a really pretty guitar. And so I'm going to combine the Les Paul style guitar with the succulent theme and try and come up with something really cool that Eric will like. In today's episode, we're gonna be trying to figure out how those worlds collide. How am I gonna design this thing so that it is interesting, it is unique, uh, it is Eric. So the first step is opening up this box and taking out the body of the guitar and trying to figure out what it is that I'm gonna do with this thing. The last guitar that I did was for my mom and it was a very small scale chicken guitar. So this box seems huge to me now. <laughs> but let's open it up and see what we get. Instructions. Oh yes, look at that. Look at that. Look at this packaging. So nice. All right, let's see what we're working with. Already I like the back. I like the back a lot, looks nice. Ooh! The back of this I'm assuming is mahogany. And then the top, it has a maple cap. You can see that where the wood changes. So it has a carved maple cap binding on the edges, which is very nice. And a flame maple veneer. It's hard to see, but it's a super thin layer of this really nice maple that has this figuring to it. You can kind of see it dancing in the light there. Yes. Uh, so this is gonna stain really nicely and, and just be a really pretty guitar, but we're gonna do more to it than just staining it. This is, this is beautiful. Here's the neck. I'm not sure what wood the neck is, but uh, you can see right here it all of a sudden shifts to this flame maple. Uh, headstock and that's beautiful though. Woo! Rosewood with some plastic inlays and I'm gonna be doing something cool with the inlays on this guitar as well. Tuners are in there. String. This looks like the bridge and tailpiece. One humbucker pickup. Two humbucker pickups. Uh, we've got some knobs and the Allen wrench in there. These are pretty knobs. They're like copper. That's gonna go really nicely with this theme that I've got in my head. This looks like our potentiometers and wire. And this is our scratch plate and our back plates. Everything looks like it's in order here. The main thing I need right now is this, the body of the guitar. So we're gonna put all this away and just use this for now. So my plan for this guitar is to do some form of wood burning into the guitar to create sort of a succulent design on the guitar. So I'm going to trace the body so I know what I'm working with here. I'm going to do this a couple times on this sheet of paper so that I can try out several different designs. So I'm going to have body outlines like this all over this piece of paper.
This part of the build is really just a brainstorm. Like I just kind of put whatever onto the page. This one with the hexagons was the first thing that was in my mind. That, so I got that down on paper first. And then I started playing around with other things. Uh, Eric has this really beautiful guitar that has hand-painted flowers on it. It's an acoustic guitar. I kind of modeled some of the shapes off of that and a lot of the succulent designs are based off of pictures that I took while I was at uh, Eric and Colleen's house. Last time I was there he's got a bunch of succulents so I took some pictures. Anyway, so I tried out four basic designs. I really still like the, the hexagon uh, shaped one. However, when I showed it to Jessica, she really liked the sort of wrap around the guitar one. And my parents came over today and I showed them and asked them their opinions on it. And it seems like it's gonna be somewhere between those two. So, since I'm not totally sure and not totally sold on either of them yet, I'm going to trace them a few times and try and, and, and refine them and get a real feel of this is what this guitar will look like. And hopefully that'll guide me into one decision or another. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take an etching of this guitar so that I know where the pickups go and where the bridge goes and where the knobs go and the, the switch. And then I can draw that onto the guitars so that I can see where that's gonna get in the way of the design. But I'm having fun with this. It's all freehand right now. It's gonna get a little more technical as I go, but right now it's just freehand and, and uh, it, it's a lot of fun. I'm having fun. These are the two options here so far. Uh, we've got this one fairly simple. You can tell that it's succulents. There's a, definitely a cactus on it. Um, got a little bit of like design elements on it. I like it a lot. This is the first thing that was in my head. And then we've got this one, much more ornate, much more abstract. There are a few things in here that you can tell like that's probably cactus related. That kind of has a succulent look to it, but it's a little more abstract. I also have to take into account the flame maple top. How is that gonna stain? What's that gonna do to the overall look of the guitar? Also keep in mind all of the other components that are gonna be on there, the pickups, the pick guard, the switch, the knobs, all that stuff kind of plays into the overall theme of the thing. And I don't know, I'm really stumped on this one. I think this project to over any of the other projects that I've worked on so far, I have this like nagging feeling that Eric will watch this and I'll pick a guitar that I'm like, this is the design, this is the one I wanna go with and his, he's gonna watch it and go like, man, I wish he'd pick the other one. I've never had that thought before 
during the process of design. I've always been like, okay, this is the one I'm gonna go with, and I don't even think about them liking one of the other designs that I did better. But for some reason with this one, I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to like text my sister and see what she thinks. I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's the next day, I still don't know what I'm gonna do with this guitar, but I do know that there's something that I wanna do to the neck of the guitar as well, and it is another thing that I need to design. So, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time working on the neck while I mull over this. I wanna bring the whole guitar together, not just have like a cool looking guitar body and then a neck that looks like every other guitar. I want the neck to go with the guitar. So what I'm gonna do is do etching within each of these inlays of some sort of cactus theme, some sort of design or cactus theme, and then also probably design something up for up here in the headstock. I really think this is gonna bring the whole guitar together and it's a new technique, new thing for me. I've never done that before. So I'm excited to learn. And the first step is going to be to trace all of these and then do a few little drawings to figure out what is gonna look the best in which size thing. As I've been working on these drawings, I'm noticing that these spaces are a lot smaller than I had originally anticipated. I don't know why, I just didn't, thought I had more space than I did. And I really do wanna try and get this engraving to happen inside of these markers here. I think with the engraving tools, I'll be able to get some really fine detail in here. But as I'm trying this out, I'm, I'm realizing that the Sharpie, this ultra fine tip Sharpie, is still too thick for me to, to accurately get like an idea of what this is gonna look like. My pencil is dull, so I brought in an electric pencil sharpener so I can keep my pencil sharp as I do this. And I have this Pigma Micron .005 uh, sized, what is that? It's a .2 millimeter line is how thin this is. So this is super thin. I think it's gonna give me a better idea of what is possible here. I'm also gonna do some drawings kind of bigger and then shrink them down uh, just to kind of get an idea of what, what this is gonna look like in the end. I'm trying to set myself up to have really nice, intricate, pretty engravings on here, but also not set myself up for failure. <laughs> I wanna be able to actually do this when I, when I go to do it. So. Uh, this planning phase right now is, is is super important with all of that. So I'm basically starting over on, on the design front of this. I'm gonna trace the outlines of these again and uh, try it with some finer tipped instruments. that's going to do it for today's episode of Gifted Guitars. I want to thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, I'm leaving it on a cliffhanger. So you'll find out next week which guitar design I choose and I'm actually going to start burning it into the guitar, which I'm nervous about, but it's going to be a lot of fun. These videos are all shot in advance, so I have already selected a design to use on Eric's guitar, but I want to know in the comment section down below if I was going to make you one of these two guitars, which one would you want? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks again for watching today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you next week right here on Gifted Guitars.